What's going on guys? Before we start the video, keep in mind that the NFL skins come out tonight. Guys, if you please can, before you buy the skins, go to the item shop down at the bottom right. It says support a creator. Go ahead and click on that. Type in your boys gamertag exotic motion underscore YT. You guys, you're going to be helping your boy out, hooking it up. Just hit accept. Send me a picture of this. I will go ahead and retweet it and maybe follow you guys on Twitter. But guys, don't forget to buy the skin using exotic motion underscore YT. I appreciate that more than anything. But with that being said, let's start the video. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Motion Pretty Guys, another video. In today's video, we have something completely different. If you guys don't know what a Doritos Ramp Rush is, I think that's what they're calling it. So basically what it looks like is something like this. Kind of hard to set up, but basically you want to be in a position like this and you're literally going to put a, a, a pyramid here, 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 and here. Now this is an advanced technique. I always seem to miss this part right here. I can't seem to do it. 100% there's different steps to it so the hardest level I guess level five of this is here 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 and here but this is really hard for someone like me I, I can't even do it I've been practicing for an hour now it's just it's too hard of a thing to do to actually connect to that last one right there there's just a lot of rotating going on and I can't seem to do it I mean I'll do it like a little bit but then I'll, I'll put a roof above me or something like I'll do something like that and then it gets in my way and I'm like, oh crap. So it's really hard to do. You just take, it takes practice, honestly. But the best thing that I could do, let me show you guys what it's gonna look like. So basically if I'm an enemy, let me put one more down right here. So if I'm, I'm an enemy and I'm sitting over here by this tree or something like that, or I'm just right here, or at this house right here, and somebody's ramp rushing me, that's what it looks like. That's the Doritos ramp rush right there. So they're not gonna know exactly what the heck is going on. But I can't do it to that level, uh, level five. I can only do like the level four version of it. But I still think level four is capable enough to make a great video because one it's a hard thing to do um how you start off is you got to rotate and then once you're in this position right here um it, it's pretty self-explanatory i mean i can explain it to you guys but it, it's really hard to learn it's only meant for pc you can't really do it on console but what you need to do is let me show you guys how it's done real quick so if you go to the pyramid say for instance we're on a pyramid right now and we want to put it down you want to edit this click on the two corners and then set it just like that and that's how it's supposed to be set and then when you're running instead of like ramp rushing like normal like this you can go ahead and start with your pyramid on the floor but it's it's going to take a lot of rotation you guys you guys are going to have to rotate your pyramid basically the whole time that's what a lot of it is doing is rotating so once you put one down you want to rotate put another one like that kind of to like line it up and then rotate again and then jump up on top of it and then once you're at this position then you look down don't rotate it again click hold your click button rotate left rotate left and then just like that so you just constantly just constantly going back and forth. See, whenever I seem to put this one down, I always mess up and cock myself in the head. But I want to show you guys what a level four looks like real quick. So let me show you. I'm going to do it in playground real quick. And then we're going to take it to a public match and see if we could trick out enemies and stuff like that. Oh, I'm choking. It's not, this is still kind of difficult. It's a little difficult. Sometimes I'll miss certain things, but this is what this one looks like. Let me show you guys. So if an enemy's like down here or something, this is what this one looks like. It still looks pretty intimidating. It looks scary. Kind of hard to shoot down. Um, they don't know really what's going on. Of course, at the start, if they just shoot down the start ones, that's going to go ahead and knock you down twice. But if they're trying to shoot like this one, they're going to be like, wait, which one do I shoot? Where's he at? And they're just going to be so confused at that point. So we're going to try to see if we can trick people in a public match and see what we can do. So let's go check it out. All right, so starting off, the first thing we're gonna do is land in Wailing Woods every time. We're probably gonna die a lot. The reason I wanna do this is to test out how efficient and effective this actual technique is of ramp rushing. Now, again, the guy that did the tutorial video, he said that it's not really that effective just because one, you're using a lot more mats and it's a little bit easier to do the other thing. It just throws off enemies a little bit more i guess i don't know i i really want to see how enemies are going to react to it i have a feeling that they're just going to shoot me down and kill me or not react at all so first thing i need to do is take over wailing woods get all the trees i possibly can and then go ahead and try it out starting off this guy's already landing right where i want to go oh he got a shotgun What the heck? He got a sniper and an AR? Alright, we're gonna need to get as many mats as we possibly can just because 
starting out it, it takes a lot of mats like literally if we don't have 999 we're probably gonna die we're gonna run out of mats very quick i still think maybe the other way is effective but we'll see here in a second if i can actually manage to like not choke this and actually make it happen perfectly and smoothly this could be the next thing that i actually rock a lot it just really depends on how i feel about it how comfortable i am with it and again it's all trial and error just testing it out to see how good it is see this isn't like playground so farming trees is going to take a long time i think the tip and technique to this thing is to do it on the right person because if i do it on somebody that's decent at the game he's going to destroy me i have to find a noob and do it to a noob i thought i saw somebody down here somewhere i don't know if he went this way i thought i saw someone over here maybe i'm tripping All right, this might be it. This might be it. We could do it on this guy. He's chasing me. Hang on, you guys. Let me kill this guy, because this guy is being a tryhard. I wasted a lot of mats. Hopefully this guy had mats to make up for all the mats I wasted. This soccer skin girl, I don't even know where she went. She literally just ran away. All right, we're gonna try it on her. We're gonna try it on her. Here we go. You guys ready? I don't know how this is gonna work. I haven't done it under pressure. Oh crap, this is... All right, so first this. It's kind of hard to do it unless you're in like open field area because you gotta you gotta remember you gotta remember how to do it. Oh, she's above me. Oh, got her out of the lobby. I don't know, man. This might be too hard, you guys. Oh, look at the lag. Honestly, I don't think I'll be able to do it because, like, as effective as it sounds, it, it wastes a lot of mats. Plus, you got to know how to do it, like, in open... Like, if there's materials in your way, like, for instance, these stairs, I can easily ramp rush over them. But, like, this, I need two spaces to actually start it. Unless I'm, like, up here. Like, just to get up here in this position right here. This takes time. Like, it, it's... I don't know if it's an effective way to do it. But don't worry, we're still going to try to execute it and make it happen one time in this game. Hopefully we can do it. Again, we're going to need a lot more mats. Hopefully we don't get into a situation where we have to reset our pyramid because I'm not that good at resetting my building material. Alright, I don't know if this guy's good or what. We're going to kind of attempt it. It looks like he doesn't know what the heck is going on. Okay, he shot it down. He finally shot it. It only took like what? One? Okay, he really ran away from that fight. 
He was good. He knew what he was doing for sure. Well, the Doritos Ramp Rush, we could go check out from his point of view to see how what it looked like, like if it was actually worth it. He's probably over here healing or something. Oh, shoot. I fell all the way down. I blame the Doritos Ramp Rush. What was his name? Twitch.tv something. All right, it doesn't matter that we didn't get the win. I just wanted to see what it looked like for the enemy if somebody was... He looked confused. Honestly, he did look confused. He just sat there and didn't know what the heck was going on. But he was... Hopefully, he was live streaming so we can go ahead and clip it to see, on his stream to see, like, what his reaction... He was probably like, look at this retard. What is he doing? Honestly, I felt stupid doing it. I don't know if I would ever use the Doritos Ramp Rush. I can't even find my character. All right, there we go. Exotic motion. Gameplay. Pretty blown about the situation. All right, so here's the guy. Let's find where he is. He's a twitch.tv right here. Savage Pursuit. This is his point of view. This is what he saw. So basically, he was going to go for the supply job. He probably heard me. That's why he started building. Yeah, he started building because he heard me. Oh, he's choking. Oh, and then he sees the rank. Holy crap, dude. It looks... Honestly, that thing looks crazy. Like, it looks like what the heck is going on? What is happening? But let's see how easy it is for him to destroy it. Oh yeah, see he went from the very bottom, which is just like any other ramp rush. I used a lot more mats than I needed to, too. Alright, so what's his name? Savage Pursuit TTV. Let's see if we can find him. Dang, what a bummer, man. The dude wasn't even live streaming. Well, there you guys have it. I mean, it looks pretty scary. Um, Honestly, I don't know if I would actually use it. But from his point of view, that thing does look... It looks deadly, man. Like, honestly, you can't lie. This... This looks crazy. You're like, what the heck is this person doing? It looks cool. I might attempt it for like just for fun in the future, but it's not something that I would do. One is a little bit more difficult. It ruins your pyramid, so you can't do a normal pyramid. It's easy to shoot down, so I don't know if it's something that I would do. It does it if it's a noob, I'll do it just to just to intimidate the noob and make him freak out. But if it's a good player, like it was very easy to shoot down. There's no point in doing it. But there you guys have it. That is today's video. Is the Doritos ramp rush worth it? No, it's not. Don't learn it. If you guys are on PC, I mean, if you want like style points, go for it. But other than that. I mean, it's honestly not even worth it. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you please can, give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate the likes more than anything. I know you guys can kill 100 likes. Let's see it happen. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.